Already, ooh, a bit of action out wide here. Attendance up pretty quickly. Unable to ascertain as to who that is directly across from us. Now we look ready. We just issuing one or two last instructions here. There's one just on the key a little bit out wide. And maybe settle now. Line good. Just holding them there. Racing now in the hard courts, Thornton. He's a kamikaze and a tap. He was slow out of the gates. And also going back here is Red Ruler. Now beginning quickly here is Shannon, but Joku takes it on. Fritzy Boy showing speed and Dasudi's pushing on with Eileen Dub. Dasudi leads. Eileen Dub's taking it on. Fritzy Boy third. Shannon is fourth. And then Joku. Jack's point in that group and King Radwell's burning around them. And Irish Opera's on the move as well. The next is the Meister. Back over on the inside then is Booming in that group of horses is Obsession and rocks on wider out. He's a kamikaze. Fears nothing is the next outside of November Rain. Atapi and Red Ruler, the last two. The Harcourts Thornton run onto the 850 metre mark. And Eileen Dub from Irish Opera. King Radwald third to Sudi four. Fritzy Boy is fifth on the outside. Jack's point in the middle. Shannon's getting through on the inside. And then we have the next is the Meister who goes forward. Travels okay. Wider out. He's a kamikaze. In that group is rocks on to Joe Koof. Fierce Nothing's tracking up behind them. And then Booming Obsession. Uh, November Range taking off. Then Red Ruler and Atapi's the last. The Thorndon swing at the 500 metres as they run on down here now. Eileen Dub on the inside of Irish Opera. Dasudi behind these. Here's the Meister put in and in the centre. Back in behind these. Shannon's looking for an out. Rocks on and Fears Nothing. Obsession are all coming home. And Booming is getting right up on the inside. They get up to the 100 metres. Booming on the inside is showing a great turn of foot. The Sudi goes with him. I end up in the middle. Booming's the leader. And Booming in Masatanaka. He gets his first group one. Second over has been to Sudi Dunno third. Shannon flew alongside of Eileen Dub. Back and behind these fears, nothing. And then Irish Opera Obsession. Then we had uh, Jack's Point. They were followed by Roxon, King Rayad, World Red Ruler, November Rain, Joku, Atapi, and uh, back and behind those, Fritzy Boy. And he's a kamikaze. It was the uh, last of them. And what a sensational galloper. Booming. And what a ride. Masa Tanaka. And this will give Masa his first Group 1 win on a fantastic horse. The stable and sensational form for the last 18 months or so, that of Jeff Lins. And this has been a super, super performance. After the Harcourts, Thorndon Mile getting right up on the inside as we're about to take a look at the Westbury Stud replay. And here it is, getting through on the inside. G. Dasudi was trying very, very hard for Danielle Johnson. Eileen Dub in the middle, and then Shannon was appearing the last little bit. But at the top of his game, booming. Start 22, win number eight, and has got the prize there. Booming wins, second to Sudi, it will be Eileen Dub in front of Shannon, third and fourth, and then Jack's Point and the Meister. Unbelievable performance, what a racehorse. He's gone back to back group ones, and there he is on the rail, furthest right of screen, sneaking underneath Eileen Dub, Massa Tanaka, what a moment for him, and also for uh, Don Frampton, Jeff Lins, and GKV Holdings. To number three, Booming. 17, Dasudi is second. 13, Eileen Dub third. 15, Shannon fourth. 16, Jack's Point fifth. 7, The Meister sixth. 3, 17, 13, 15, 16, 7. The winner's time, 134.96. Well, Master Tanaka, it's the sixth season you've been in New Zealand now, mate. Your first group one. Tell me how it feels, son. Oh, it does. Great. Just unbelievable. Yeah, look, you've got a, a good worth of ethic, Massa. You've been uh, well rewarded. I know that you ride work for the Lins in the morning, maybe only one or two in the morning, but they've rewarded you with the ride on the horse, and, mate, lovely, brilliant ride. Yeah, no, just thanks to Jeff Lenz for putting me on this horse. This is probably one of the best horses in the, in the fields. I was just lucky to be on it. That's right, and he's in form back to back group ones. Well done, Massey, congratulations. Thank you. With winning trainer Jeff Lins. Jeff, you go back to back in the race, you won it last year with Wall Street and today booming. Yeah, what a great thrill. But um, uh, this horse is a good horse, you know, he's, he's really uh, the top draw. And um, um, 
we after this race we, um, we're going to have to assess ourselves and uh, run in the Wakanui and then move to Australia I think yeah so adaptive as well being you won over the 2,000 meters last start and dropping back to the mile today yeah well it, um, we just wanted to see how he's going to race and uh, he got into a position there and uh, he challenged and uh, went for them and uh, but he's uh, he's improved out of sight from last year and uh, he'll compete with any field you showed a lot of faith in Masa Tanaka as well today to put him on and he's got his first group one. Yes, well he's uh, um, a good diligent boy and uh, he's been doing a lot of work in, uh, in Palmerston and um, he rides well. Um, I hope he wanted to ride something else. I told him you're wasting your time. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's, so, a, it's a great thrill for Masa. Well done Jeff, another group one on the champagne too. Thank you Brendan. Jeff Lins, and you have heard a bit of that quote over the past couple of years, haven't we? This horse is a good horse, and uh, slightly understated, but booming in another group one, and you're yeah, part of GKV Holdings, you've got Vern Curtis, Greg Peebles, and Kevin Algy. Masa Tanaka flailing the whip, waving to the crowd, and giving himself a fist punch. This is what he and all the jockeys here today work toward. Group one glory. And there he is. What a moment for him. Of course, we've seen Von Romane and Wall Street, good horses. Uh, quote unquote, Jeff Lynn's doing the job at the highest level here in, here in New Zealand the last couple of seasons and uh, booming, adding to that. 17.20 and $5.70. 17 Das Sudi, and I'm sure connections of that horse, including John Miller, uh, were up in their seats expecting to uh, get that Group 1 glory and two, until Booming sneaked up on the inside of her. So 7.30 for 17 Darsudi and Eileen Dub, game as ever, 13 at $2.80. 3 and 17 the Quinella, 231.80. 317, 13 trifecta, 3,821.60. And the first four with number 15, Shannon, 317, 13, 15, 55,702 dollars and 30 cents with fifty two thousand dollars being carried forward to race number seven the virginia turner summer cup how about that double well it gave you 127 96 dating three booming six 17 concession with dasudi sixty dollars and sixty cents what a training performance freshened after uh, taking out the zabil classic on boxing day uh, beating home red ruler uh, both Red Ruler and Booming dropping back to uh, the uh, 1,600 metres, one from 2,000 and the other from 24. It was Booming on the rail that came with that run, as his name suggests. Uh, Red Ruler was out wider with others searching for runs. He wasn't in the race today. Huge run from Eileen Dumm and Dasudi as well uh, right there. Michelle Payne working hard, thinking that maybe she could pick up another New Zealand success, but there's Massa. And in terms of pick six, there are 744.78 live units. Getting urgent, Michelle Payne, Massa Tanaka. Those senses that this is his moment. The son of Don Eduardo and Beautiful Sea. Trained by Jeff Lynn's Booming. The Don Frampton, Vern Curtis, Greg Peebles and Kevin Algy. Well, it seems like Aidan Rodley, whenever there is a Group 1 race on offer in this country, you simply have to put the circle around. Any runner trained by Jeff Lins, Von Romney, Wall Street, and booming again. Nothing, and then Irish up rabs. This afternoon, the Harcourts, Thornton Mile. It's my pleasure to call on committee man and a very popular man around these parts for the Wellington Racing Club, Mr. Wayne Guppy. Andre, thank you to you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again, we've seen an outstanding run by uh, a fabulous horse who just does knows how to win races, doesn't matter what distance he runs over. And uh, we're going to see some pretty exciting challenges with booming throughout the season. Uh, it's great to actually see today that Jeff Lins has basically done it again. 
It's great to have the Harcourts people on, on board again. And I reckon old Jeffrey's going to buy a house with Harcourts very shortly because he got the race last year with Wall Street. Wayne Guppy, my colleague and the vice chairman of the Wellington Racing Club, is now going to come forward and make the presentation, ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Guppy. Thank you, Des. Mr President, my fellow committee members, guests, commercial partners, and more importantly, the public. Welcome to you all today on New Zealand's greatest race day, Wellington Cup Day. Thank you, owners, trainers, and the public for supporting the Wellington Racing Club in Trentham. Not only is this Wellington Cup Day, but we have just also seen the running of New Zealand's premier 1600 metre race, the Harcourt's Thornton Mile. There is no doubt that this is the number one 1600 metre race in the country, and only the very best win it. Today's race is sponsored by Harcourts, represented here today by Stu and Elliot Faulkner. Harcourts are a great mix for this race. They are also the region's leading real estate company, and we thank you, Elliot and Harcourts, for your involvement, and we look forward to a long association with your company. As I said, only the best win this race, and today we saw booming, ridden by Masa Tanaka, owned by Dom Frank Franklin and GKV Holdings, and trained by Jeff Lynns, who's having a great winning streak, uh, win this great race. I'd now like to call on Elliot Faulk Faulkner from Harcourts to present the trophy. Thank you, Wayne. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute pleasure once again to, uh, to be part of this day uh, for the, uh, the Thornton Mile. It's a superb race. To, to the owners, a, a fantastic horse who is in, no doubt, to, to Jeff, two years in a row training it, which is just brilliant. After 110 years of association, coming back into uh, to the fold to be a sponsor last year has been brilliant for us. I'd encourage anyone else to do it because the club have been really supportive of us and the club members. So thanks, everyone. Well done to the owners. To accept the trophy on behalf of the Don Frampton, Maureen Algy, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. On, behalf, on behalf of GV Coldings, I would like to thank you all very much for accepting this trophy. Um, Unable, unfortunately, they are unable to be here today, but I, I wish to thank the Wellington uh, Racing Club for this trophy and to thank you very much. Thank you. And now the man of the moment as far as training horses in New Zealand is concerned. Uh, he just wins Group 1 races everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big welcome. Geoffrey Lins. Wellington Racing Club, the general public and uh, distinguished guests. Uh, on behalf of the GKV Holdings and uh, Don Frampton, uh, what a great pleasure it is to train such a good horse as this. Rest assured, um, he's going to do New Zealand proud and, uh, when he gets across to Australia because he's, uh, I think he's a special horse, especially over the last 12 months. He's uh, really matured and he's going to really get into the mix of it. Uh, to my staff, Chris Carmody does all the work on the horse, do all the rest, done a fantastic job at home. To Massa Tanaka, thanks so much. Guy that's come from Japan and uh, looks to set his career alight. And to uh, Don Frampton and Kevin Algy and the GKV Syndicate, thanks so much for giving me such a good horse to train. Thank you. And what a great moment in the life of Master Tanaka. Ladies and gentlemen, his very first Group 1 win. Let's bring him to the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, Masa. Uh, just like to thank you to um, Jeff Lenz and all owners um, to put me on uh, booming and giving me a first Group 1 win. And uh, I'm really happy. Um, I guess that's all I can say. Thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, the next race, of course, is the Virginia Turner Summer Cup. And after that, the big one, the Century City Wellington Cup. Thank you for your attention. The Thorndon swing at the 500 metres as they run on down here now. Eileen Dub on the inside of Irish Opera to Sudi behind these. Here's the Meister put in and in the centre. Back in behind these, Shannon's looking for an out. Rocks on and fears nothing. An obsession are all coming home and Booming is getting right up on the inside. They get up to the 100 metres. Booming on the inside is showing a great turn of foot to Sudi goes with him. Eileen Dub in the middle. Booming's the leader. And Booming in Masatanaka. He gets his first group Second over has been to Sudi Dunno. Third, Shannon flew alongside of Eileen Dub. Back and behind these fears, nothing.